over the last couple of days, it's been a pretty stressful environment here on the channel. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I know this is this is pretty random, but I've seen this game being commented in the videos for like the last couple of days. The Henry Stickman Collection. And I said, what the frick is that? And then I was kind of lost and then I started doing my research. And I found out that it was part of Newgrounds. For those of you that don't know what Newgrounds is or was, I actually don't know if it's still a thing, but it was pretty much a website where you would go in and you were able to play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of free games like like this one. I don't really have any plans to make this like a series or anything, but I just wanted to try it out since a lot of you have been requesting it and, you know, just lighten up the mood for a little bit. If if you will right so here we have the prologue breaking the bank so there's multiple levels as you can see down here and btb uh, breaking the bank i guess okay let's play oh so we have options uh well that's actually pretty easy i would pick a shovel duh Right? In order to get inside the bank? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure, because there would be a freaking gas tank down there. Never dig straight down. So Henry Stickman, he's short on cash, so it's time to get some. Not to be confused with Henry Stickman. Let's go with the wrecking ball. That he just pulled the freaking. <laughs> There's no construction schedules for today. So are we ever gonna be able to do this, or is this just like an ongoing? Blow up the freaking wall. Apparently not. So so far we blow up if we use a shovel. We blow up if we use the explosives and we can't use the wrecking ball. So I'm going to use, oh, just teleport inside the bank. That's easy. All right. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's inside the wall. It's emerging technology. I'm sure it will get better. It's the disguise. There's absolutely no way it's not the disguise. There we go. Perfect. Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. That's what I'm talking about. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. We're in. Oh, so that was the pl Three, go, move. The story begins. Let's go to next. Episode one. Oh, are you? You're free to go. <laughs> Not really, but you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful. Haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> See you around. Free to go. Hmm. Oh, all right, so how do we break out of prison? We definitely do not want to use a rocket launcher because that would just bring way too much attention. We don't want to use the teleporter. We know what happens there. The cell phone, we could probably call someone. That would be smart, but then how would they break us out? I can use a file to possibly... No, I'm going to go for the drill. Oh, that's a big drill. Oh, that's going to... How'd you even connect that to... Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think we're onto something here. Hold on. We got the opacitator. And the crowbar. I'm gonna go with the crowbar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Whoa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, whoa. Try dodging bullets, noob. Oh, okay, it's just clicking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what the frick just happened? Oh, go, go straight in. No, whoa, 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 what the? Oh. Get ready. Ready for what? Are we gonna fight this guy or? Okay, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Got, oh. Henry Stigman. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so that was the right option. The drill. <laughs> that was a badass bust out. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> So what happens if we use the file? I want to see what happens. Like if we get other endings or, hmm, the window. Oh, so there's multiple ways of escaping. <laughs> Energy drink. Um, but... Oh yeah, that's not gonna be like. Is that how fast he is? Hmm. Look at the other cellmate trying to bust out or something. <laughs> this is the best ending probably, right? <laughs> it's the best. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's try the file on the door. I don't know what type of file this is, but to be able to break through metal doors and windows, it's got to be one hell of a file. Oh, here we go. Got him. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, he's escaping. Wait, what? Where do we go? Oh. Um, um, belt of grenades, a chair, a belt of grenades, definitely. Chuck the grenades. Yo, oh! 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 Okay, well, we'll do a chair. We'll do chair. It's got to be the chair. I wouldn't. Let's. Let me just go left. Although I think it's a stupid idea. Hi, boys. Nay. Shut up, janitor. You don't count. Now, the next time on you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the right this time. Look down before. We've been through this again, okay? Oh, wait a minute. We've got uh, a couple of options here. We've got a rope, a parachute, a jetpack. How about a jetpack? Let's go out in style. Wow, that was... Oh, what the... Sure. <laughs> that should work, right? There we go. That would never work. Please, if you're in jail or prison, do not try and use plungers to escape. Because that, that will not work. What happens if we use the rocket launcher to break out of prison? That's... So the rocket launcher was not the best idea. Let's call a friend, possibly uh, attorneys. September 9th, 1253, district court, courtroom number four. Witness, 
Please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner and the armored man, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. This is actually a really stupid way. Yeah, this is gonna... How about we go for... Let's see the disguising bag. Let's see The bag of the defendant used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. See, that makes sense. Take that! Is... Is that the bag the defendant hid in? <laughs> yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of exactly. the bag? Exactly! What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! <laughs> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from the tomb. <laughs> he was arrested on the spot, and the thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, you, you can't be happy with me! That's hilarious, so... Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... Not guilty. I actually was not even gonna choose the bag, but I feel like, uh... This was literally the easiest way, the, the best, the most effective- Oh! Now he's robbing another! Okay, well that was pointless. Oh, we got all three endings. That was possibly the best outcome simply because we were able to leave not really as an escapist, but rather as a wrongfully convicted felon. That was really cool, honestly. I know that there's like a bunch of other things. There's, you can have different outcomes and stuff like that. I kind of experiment a little bit more with the breaking out of prison one instead of the breaking the bank, but that's because I figured it later on. But uh, definitely very, very interesting. The next one is Stealing the Diamond, which sounds kind of interesting, to be quite honest. But uh, let me know what you thought.